reading uh, other fiction material to give a sense of other people's voices, to give a sense of how stories can be told. I think that's really, really important. Seeing how other people write stories expands your perception of how um, you can do your own storytelling, even if you aren't going to do what they do. Understanding how they do it is, is a very important process. Mm -hmm. The way that I write is I, I tend to construct the scene that I'm writing in my head, almost like it's a film. And then I describe what's going on. And I'm, I'm always sort of terrified that I'm not going to be able to find the right words and I won't be able to convey to my reader just what it is that I've pictured. And there's a process of of letting go when it comes to writing. You may not necessarily be fully content with the, the scene that you write. You want it to be as good as you can. You want it to be as much the scene you're trying to write as possible. But there will eventually be a point where you might not be able to get it any more, any closer to your ideal of the scene. And being able to keep going is a critical aspect of the writing process. Writer's block is very much a real thing. Um, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And it's, it's complex. The first thing to do is to try to not, not get like discouraged by it, not get hung up on it. It's to try to like just stop, take a step back and to try to figure out what's doing it. Is it environmental? Is it you know, stress that's going on? Or is it something related to the work? And once you figure out what the impediment is, try to figure out what a solution to that impediment specifically is. And don't be down on yourself for it, because again, everyone has writer's block. Mm -hmm. People will sometimes talk about characters surprising them. Uh, you know, the characters do things that they didn't expect. And what's really going on is if, you, if you've got a really solid understanding of your characters, of your world, of who they would be if they were real people, if that makes sense, um, when you're working on something that you had planned out, you might realize in context, well, no, this character, having worked out who they are as a person, what their behavior is like, what their thought process is like, they actually wouldn't do the thing that I thought they would do. They'd do something else. Be okay with rewriting material. And there may be cases where the entire, like 90% of the whole story gets changed. And understanding that that can happen and that it's fine if that happens and being able to let go and just rework it is very important. Um, mm. You know, you, you may work on a story that doesn't come together in its own way, but it may give you a, a concept or inspiration to do an entirely different story. You might want to take some of the characters and do a different story from their perspective, or you might want to take the setting and do a different story with different characters altogether. And again, that's okay. It's not, you know, it's not defeat. It's not failure in any sense of the, the word. If you feel the need to completely change what you're working on. Find a writing environment that works for you that you have access to. That's the most important mm -hmm. thing. And try to work out a reasonable schedule and just sit down and focus on the writing in the time that you've allotted. And if you reach a, a certain length, whether it's a word count, whether it's a chapter, you know, whatever it is, then that's great. But if you don't, don't be hard on yourself for it. Ultimately, again, everything with writing, it goes back to you as the writer and what works best for you and what works best for the story. Mm -hmm.